This is Jupiter Today for the 18th of February, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC today, EO begins the day transiting Jupiter, but going to be moving into quadrant three heading west. Europa starts the day in quadrant two heading west. Ganymede starts in quadrant three heading west. And Callisto is in quadrant four heading east, but going to be moving behind Jupiter soon. At six hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant three heading west. And Europa has just successfully transited Jupiter and is now also in quadrant three heading west. At 12 hours UTC, EO has passed its western elongation and is now in quadrant four heading east. Ganymede has just passed its eastern elongation and will be in quadrant four for the rest of the day. At 1704 UTC, EO goes through an apogee, and that's at a distance of 423,539.5 kilometers. And then at 18 hours UTC, EO, you can see, is in quadrant four, still heading east. Europa is in quadrant three, heading west, but coming up on its western elongation. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO has successfully moved behind Jupiter and is now in quadrant one, heading east. Europa is more or less at its western elongation. Ganymede is in quadrant four, heading east. And Callisto is in quadrant one, heading east. There are 10 Jupiter satellite events today. 115 UTC, EO's transit ends. 132 UTC, the shadow of EO egresses. At 211 UTC, Callisto moves behind Jupiter. At 302 UTC, the transit of Europa begins. At 336, the shadow of Europa ingresses. At 556 UTC, the transit of, EO, of Europa ends. At 631 UTC, the shadow of Europa egresses. At 944, Callisto reappears from behind the shadow of Jupiter. At 2014 UTC, EO moves behind Jupiter. And at 2250 UTC, EO reappears from behind the shadow of Jupiter. There are two satellite mutual events today. This is a pair, again, of mutual events. The first goes from 1302 to 1308 UTC when Europa occults EO. It's a 6.5 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.518 magnitudes. And it's a good distance away, 102.29 arc seconds. So that's very good for photometric measurements. Maybe some photography there as well. And this event is paired up with a eclipse that goes from 1330 to 1338 UTC, and that's when Europa eclipses EO. It's a 7.6 minute event with a very deep estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.896 magnitudes. And these are both a very good distance away, still 98.52 arc seconds from Jupiter and Europa and EO are 10.93 arc seconds apart. Visibility for this event is Western North America, all of the Pacific, including Hawaii. Orbital ribbons for today. So these are just the temporal connections between the moons, uh, just connected the same times as the moons orbit Jupiter. And so this is the connection between EO and Europa, and EO and Ganymede, and EO and Callisto, 
and then Europa and Ganymede. It's a nice twist there. And Europa and Callisto. And finally Ganymede and Callisto. And combining them all and putting some color into them. We get that for today. Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. Here's Io moving between Jupiter and the Sun, transiting from our point of view. And there goes Europa doing the same. You can tell that Callisto and the Sun are in opposite parts of the sky, because as soon as the Sun goes away, on the right, Callisto appears on the left. And as we rotate around here, as Callisto moves off to the right, the Sun will appear on the left. They're just 180 degrees apart. One on this side of Jupiter and one on the Sun side of Jupiter. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian three times today. The first at 223, the second at 1219, and the third at 2215 UTC. There was one new image posted on the web and there was no new radio data and there were no new papers today so at zero hours utc the position of jupiter on earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours 14 minutes 49.7 seconds and a declination of positive 16 degrees, 59 minutes, 21.1 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun today is 167.128 degrees, and that's 1.134 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle today is 2.367 degrees, and that's 0 0.206 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is 653,410,133 kilometers, and that's 526,344 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. Earth is radially moving away from Jupiter, and that's at a speed of 21,931 kilometers per hour. And that's 1,933.29 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between the Sun and Jupiter is 798,207,740 kilometers. And that's 45,858 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,910.75 kilometers per hour. And that's 0 0.04 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1 89.37 degrees, CM2 11.61 degrees, CM3 283.13 degrees. So please subscribe and thank you to those who are subscribing and watching. Always like to hear your comments and questions and suggestions to make this podcast ever better. And you can send all of those and your images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.